Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to talk to you about this idea of overcoming static friction force to get an object moving when it's starting off at rest. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the difference between static and kinetic friction. So if an object is stationary, so if the surface that it's on um, and that object, they're not sliding across one another, we're talking about static friction force. But if you have an object that is sliding, so not rolling, but sliding across the surface, then we're talking about kinetic friction force. So if you have a question that's like, all right, you have a refrigerator and you're trying to push it and you need to see how hard you need to push to get this refrigerator in motion, we want to deal with our coefficient of static friction first because we want to know what is the maximum static friction force that's going to be present between this refrigerator and the floor because that's the amount of force that we need to overcome in order to get this refrigerator to move. Once it's moving, then we're dealing with the coefficient of kinetic friction because then our refrigerator is sliding across the floor. So let's imagine Imagine here we have this this question right and you have a 100 kilogram refrigerator you're trying to move and we want to know how much force is it going to require to get this refrigerator to move so first of all our, our um, equation for friction is we're going to multiply our coefficient of friction times the normal force and we'll take the normal force on the refrigerator to be opposite the gravitational force so they're balanced with each other so if we know our gravitational force we also know the normal force and then we'll multiply by that by the coefficient of static friction. The number that we get here, again, this is the maximum static friction force that is present between the refrigerator and the floor. So let's say here you just push with like 50 newtons worth of force that doesn't get the fridge moving. The friction force in the opposite direction is going to be 50 newtons because it's still remaining at rest. So you push a little harder. You push with 75 newtons. That static friction force ups to 75. We push a little harder and a little harder and that friction force like ups and ups and ups to match the force that you're pushing with and eventually the force that you exert is going to exceed that maximum static friction force and it moves so when you're multiplying your static friction coefficient times the normal force you're getting that maximum static friction force so let's go ahead and see what that comes out to be so if we multiply our 100 uh, kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared um, we get our 980 newtons so then we're going to multiply that let's say our coefficient of static friction is something like um 0.6 and whatever that comes out to be so if that's the case our coefficient of static friction times our normal force comes out to be and we know how much force that we need to apply to get our refrigerator to move